Okay, how are you all? I want to say welcome to uh, Ask Us Anything, but this isn't Ask Us Anything. No. <laughs> I'm Mike Wendland. This is Wendy Boyer, and you know Hello. Wendy from Social Media Buzz. And Wendy is, uh, I guess we can tell everybody, Wendy has a special relationship with Jennifer and I, because besides uh, being the uh, social media uh, chief wrangler of all of our <laughs> moderators, she is also our daughter, and she is down here in Florida with us. And this all came about tonight because we got talking about um, uh, just the constant questions that we keep getting from people over and over again. And one of the issues that we have, uh, basically questions through social media, and we thought we would answer a few of them. And uh, you guys are welcome to come right in. I see a couple of you are there. Somebody from Facebook says, uh, welcome. And uh uh, Janet says, welcome. And there's probably others. My favorite one though, is this one. Good evening. Question. What is this? <laughs> well, micro, I don't know even quite myself what it is, but we're glad you're with us. So we're going to try and answer some of your questions. And, uh, Wendy, um, these are the questions that you you and your team of moderators uh, see over and over again. So yeah, well, we were talking about on Facebook. A lot of times, people ask the same thing a lot over and over, even on the same day. And we were talking about how that's because it's Facebook. It's hard to see. You know, not everybody sees every question that's posted, and so certain ones appear over and over again. And um, and that's that's one of the issues. That's one of the reasons we started. The RV lifestyle community, our social, our, our to kind of a, uh, it's actually a group with twenty now twenty different spaces for all these different aspects in um, that people are interested in the RV lifestyle because our posts there stay up forever. Yeah. And one of the problems on Facebook is people ask a question and it's answered, and then you can they, never see it again. Then you never see it again. Yeah. And so, when you try to search for it on on Facebook, their search engine's really bad, and so. Um, you can't find it. You do the search. There, it looks like there's nothing there. And yet the same question literally might have been asked an hour ago, five hours ago, the day before. And so we were talking about how that's really frustrating. It is. Well, yeah. So we're going to answer a few of them. And you guys are welcome to jump in with a couple of questions as well. Yeah. And uh, we'll get going. So what are yeah. the questions? Well, one that we get every day, usually several times a day, is <laughs> a variation of my wife, my husband, my partner is going to be working from the road, needs good, reliable internet. What should I do? Okay. So the answer to that is, obviously, everybody's situation is different. Now, if you are a road warrior and working from the road, you have to have reliable internet. And the first thing that we always recommend for RVers is Starlink, particularly if you are west of the Mississippi where Starlink works the best. It works great, really. They're, they're putting up 300, 400 satellites every month and, it, and the network just keeps getting better and better. But Starlink, and you've seen it if you've been at campgrounds, you see these yeah. antennas up all the over the place dishes. Yeah. Um, because it works so well. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, uh, if if we have, for example, uh, Starlink, we have upgraded to the large permanent roof-mounted antenna on our Starlink antenna on our fifth wheel. But um, we also have backup cellular. And the company we use is Mobile Must Have, all one word, mobilemusthave.com. And uh, I think if you use the code RV Lifestyle, they'll give you a discount. But go there and tell them your needs and they can give you several different solutions and ideas of bundles that they have that will work for you. But we always start off with uh, having um, a recommendation of Starlink. And that's why like on our new social, on our new face, on our new community, <laughs> um, community.rvlifestyle.com, we have a whole uh, space that's dedicated to internet yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, a while ago, we did a, an interview with uh, the top experts on mobile internet in the world, really, and they answered a ton of questions. Yeah. You can still find that there and all of our recommendations at community.rvlifestyle.com under the internet connection are there. And I can say that's one of 20 different um, discussion groups mm -hmm. or spaces, as we call them. But that is a common question, and again, we always urge people to start off with uh, Starlink if you have to have connections wherever you go. Yep. All right, yep. so that's one question. That's one question. Well, 
What else we got? Uh, well, another one that appears maybe every other day is what's the best camping grill? And this is every other day on Facebook. Now, I bet I could ask that question right now among all of our, let's do it. Let's just do this and see. And I bet I, the answer I'm going to give you is the same one they do. Okay, the first first three people just type in uh, on the check and uh, tell us what you think the best grill for camping is. And let me see if I'm if I'm right. Uh, I should write it down and, and hide it like yeah. that. But uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to need, kind of type it back. <laughs> and, and we'll okay. There you go, James Massey. He uh, he got it right off the bat. And I just lost him. I put it up there. It is a uh, Blackstone. Yeah. Um, and really, the way to find the best grill is just walk around a campground, and you will see it. They are all over the place there. They are really a great grill. Uh, we have one, and we liked it so much in our RV that we ended up getting uh, a, a three-burner one for our house uh, in our 10 acres up in Michigan. So, mm -hmm. uh, And that is one that is asked over it again. And they ask it over on Facebook because, um, you know, it... it it disappears. People answer it, and then you come back to look at it, and it's gone. You can't yeah. find it. So that's that's good. Um, so those are some of the questions. I'm just looking to see if any, yeah, everybody. Renee Harwani, Blackstone. See what I'm saying? Everybody knows that. That's the one. Uh, Camp Chef and uh, and uh, Denise Warner says and Blackstone. Uh, Charles Ellington says Blackstone. So mm. uh, that was an that was an easy that sounds answer. Pretty universal. Yep. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, that was question yeah. two. What else we got? Well, one thing that th this isn't necessarily posted on Facebook, but it's something people write us about, and they'll say us being the moderators, yeah, the moderators, yeah. or our emails for RV lifestyle, and they'll say, "Why can't I find things on Facebook? I see something I like, I come back ten minutes later and to reread it, and it's gone." Well, that's kind of what we're talking about here in the other two questions. Um, Facebook is. An awesome thing, really mm -hmm. is. I mean, our Facebook group has three hundred and sixty, one thousand, sixty two thousand. Yeah, 300, is it three hundred sixty? I should I go it was look. Three hundred thirty, I, I thought. Oh yeah, I'm it sorry. It changes every day. I'm sorry. Three hundred and thirty thousand <laughs> yeah. um, members on our yeah. Facebook group, but um, Facebook has a number of things that we just can't figure out. One of the things that has puzzled puzzles everybody is their algorithm. Yeah. And that is the whatever code they have put in that determines who sees your posts. When you post a question or an answer on Facebook, it doesn't show to all 330 or 360,000 members or whatever it is that we have on that group. It only shows to a small percentage. I mean, maybe even just a few hundred. That's and true. so that gets really frustrating. And that's one of the reasons you can't find it. And then the sheer volume of traffic on Facebook, you know, posts get buried down further and further and further. And mm -hmm. and that's that's uh, that is exactly that's one of the reasons uh, the we problem. started the community. That is exactly because we wanted. We were frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like, I saw something. I want to focus on that in uh, you know the podcast because we do a little update on the what's going on in the communities. And I couldn't find it again. And you you said the same thing. Yeah. It's so, so yeah. And mm -hmm. and I know and we get questions all the time. Like why did Jennifer and I start this community? Because mm -hmm. don't we have enough to do? <laughs> and we do have enough to do. But um, we used to get to really frustrated on Facebook mm -hmm. because. Uh, we often use Facebook and our community to help us find blog stories to, we take your suggestions to go and do videos and things yeah. you're interested in. We couldn't find them. Somebody said, Hey, there's a great story about this. And I'd go back to look and I developed a system where I could save some of the posts, but it was just cumbersome. And so I, we started this new group and our new group, all of those posts stay up. Mm -hmm. Now they, you know, they move up and down as people post more stuff, but they're all there. And then they, you can, they're easily, in a category so you can find them. You can easily mm -hmm. search for them. So, yeah. so that is, uh, that is one of the things that, uh, one of the reasons we started the group and it's been great. And we, if you've not come over there again, we'll, we've been putting up, uh, Phyllis has been putting up the address, but it's right there. Just come and join it. It's free. And, uh, you'll see, uh, when you get there, yeah, I could have hooked up. I should have showed them on the computer. But uh, when you get there on the left-hand side are 20 different interest groups related to the RV lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can post your question related to any of those. Um, you can instant chat. There's so many nice features. 
and it's really welcoming and friendly and, and it's warm. a community. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, all right. Any more questions? What else? Well, we one we get every single day is help. Some sort of variation of help. My black tank is plugged. What should I do? It's one of those pyramids. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. So yeah. the reason your black tank is plugged, and by that means, and, and this question is, we see this and it's kind of Pretty gross. Much every day. <laughs> but the reason it's plugged and you open it up and nothing comes out and you yeah. know that there's stuff in that black tank is what's called a poop pyramid. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is That's really what it is. No. And the reason you get that is you're not using enough water. And uh, some people say, well, you know, I've only got, you know, uh, a quarter of my black tank is filled. I'm not going to empty it. And they may go three or four days or they may actually leave a camping trip and come home and not have emptied. Well, those solids um, solidify <laughs> even uh. more. And the the water, you know, uh, can't take them out because they, I don't know, it's so gross. It's a nasty topic. You can figure but it out with a poop all the time. Yes, So it does. the secret to that is um, you can get that out. You're going to have to, you might have to call somebody to come and, and fix it for you. But the secret is always to use a lot of water in your black tank, a lot of water. Um, you should, when you empty your blank tank, you should always make sure it's at least 80% filled and with a lot of water. Cause that water, when you empty it squishes out and it takes any solids out with it. Yeah. So always put a lot of water in your black tank. That is a question we're asked all the time and much I'm sure we will be again, but, yeah. um, let me just take a quick look at it. So we have any questions that we want to put up? Here's one from Renee Harwani. She said, if only we could get everybody to jump ship and all end up where it makes sense. I'm stuck where friends and family are located on social media. Mm. Well, I'm not, we're not advocating anybody to get rid of um, Facebook because yeah. it's, it's, you know, it serves a purpose. We're we, just saying that it's, but if we like the community because yeah. if you, if you're getting tired of seeing the same question over and over again, if you're on the community, you don't have to worry about that because it's in categories and we can, you can easily see it and, it's also just yeah. friendly and, and nice. Yeah, yeah. And it's more personable. Your friends and family are on Facebook, but mm -hmm. you know, if you really want to have an RV community, uh, come over to our community group. You stay with both, all yeah, of them. You can do but both. Come, yeah, you can do both. But that way, you you're there. All yeah. right. Uh, we don't want to keep everybody up really late, but because um, it's it's later. It's, it's kind of uh, late. Nine <laughs> fifteen Eastern time, and we're on Central time. This here was in kind Florida, of spontaneous, so. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this We're was spontaneous. Time, so We're like, talking. Let's go online. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, got another one. Okay, so sometimes people say, this is about you. They'll say, I'm confused. What RV do you have? It was a class B. It was a class C. Now it's a fifth wheel. Then on the podcast yesterday, you said you're going to get some class Bs. So people are confused. Okay, and there's again, that's that Facebook problem because I've answered on Facebook and we've, we've answered a number of places, but you don't, if you look today and say, what's he talking about? Hey. Think, hey Jen, we're just <laughs> we're just a little ADD. We are a little ADD. <laughs> Tell everybody why what RV we're in now. We are in a B. No, no, what our, <laughs> no. What's our RV? We only have one RV. Well, that's a fifth wheel. Yeah, we have a fifth wheel. But tomorrow we're going to be riding around in a B. In a B. <laughs> in a B. Yes, the so um, so we have indeed had class Bs, oh, yeah. class Cs, B pluses, and now a couple of fifth wheels. And our main one is still a fifth wheel. Yes. Yeah. It's up in Tennessee, mm -hmm. but our roots are in class B's and so many things have changed in class B's over the last couple of years that uh, we, we got talking with a friend of ours uh, who's one of the largest class B dealers in the country, Nick Schmidt from Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. And he says, you guys got to really see these new uh, class B's. They're so different. We've been out of class B's for five years, five, six years. And um, so we are in the process of test driving and camping in five different class B's. And uh, we just got one that uh, Nick sent up for us to try. And we're going to take nice. off this weekend and try that yeah. one. It's a, it is a Coachman Nova class B and uh, it's going to be fun. Now I should, so, so yeah, we have had a lot of RVs. You want to sit out? And, oh, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you two to finish up strong. Yes. But I like it. You calling us ADD. <laughs> yeah, Thanks I'm kind of hard tonight. <laughs> Now I should point out uh, class B's because I'm going to get everybody say, oh, test out this one, test out that one. Well, here's the thing. 
we're only testing the ones that we think that we want, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, and, and a couple of things we don't want in the class B is we don't want a sofa bed. Mm -hmm. They're just not comfortable. Uh, so we are looking for two twin beds. Uh, we like them in the rear so that there's room in the front. So we're picking out the, the, the ones to test that, that really would be candidates if we were to get a class B um, as well. We're still going to keep our fifth wheel. Don't worry about that. Um, and Mark Henderson says, please repeat the class B dealer in Florida. Uh, it's Sunshine State RVs. That's RVS, you know, Sunshine State RVs.com. And his name is uh, Nick Schmidt, the guy that owns it. And you can tell him you heard about it from here because uh, uh, he's not paying us to test no. these and we're not paying him. And we appreciate, he's been an old friend of ours mm -hmm. for a dozen years. But uh, we're really looking forward to seeing what news. The first one we're going to try is on the Dodge Ram ProMaster chassis, which we have not tried. Uh, and um, we'll see how that goes. We're going to camp over that over the next uh, couple, three days, starting Saturday. Uh, Terry Gillis says, uh, when are you getting your Class A diesel put in? <laughs> Not soon enough. When can I get a Class A, Jennifer? I'm sure it'll be soon. Soon? But I got to say, we've never driven the Dodge before. So yeah. we're anxious to drive the Dodge. Yeah. Okay. I'm just listening. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> we're having a good time over here. Yeah. We are in Florida. <laughs> we are. I would like a Class A. Yeah, we know you I've, would. You, you've, been, yeah. you've mentioned that before. Yeah, I've got I to remember find you admiring one in our Mackinac meetup. You yes. were really admiring some of yeah. these. I don't remember what type I, of class A it was, but yeah. So anyway, that's. I hope that's cleared it all up for everybody. Um, <clears throat> and we're always trying new RVs. We really love our fifth wheel. It's our condo on wheels. We did sell our Class C leisure travel van. We no longer have that, and we only have at this point one RV, which is our Montana fifth wheel um and we're loving that but you know we you know we report on a lot of different rvs so we think it's important that we know uh we need to check out some travel trailers as well maybe even truck campers uh and 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 class a's down the line but for the next six weeks or so we're going to be testing class b's yep i hope that answered that I, you didn't know okay. i think you did yep all right anything else we got to answer i think we covered it yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah, no more questions. Oh well, yeah. Well, I mean. Well, all right. So they ask us. We about, talked about a few different things, but I, you know. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. Let's see what we got up here on your questions. Uh, Terry Gillis, I like that. Um, um, let's see. Greg Mason, we love our Numar 30 foot base star sport going solar in April. Mm. Greg, we're very big fans of Numar, even though we have no relationship with the company. But what I like about Numar is uh, over and over I have heard from Numar owners that the company supports you. If you're a buy, uh, buy a Numar, they support you forever. And uh, we ran into somebody, you were there with yeah, them at, Tampa, there. Mm -hmm. at Tampa, the Tampa RV show, and they had a Numar that was 10, 12 years old. I, think, and I thought it was 20. Maybe it was, uh, it but, was but they still could get parts for it. Yeah. And they were talking about how Numar supports them. Uh, so you tell the Numar people we're looking at them. We might not say Miko Adventures. Uh, he's talking about the LTV Unity Corner Bed 60th anniversary. He's got one of those ordered. They were mm. showing those in the oh, those Tampa show. Those were nice. Show. I remember yeah. those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to take them a long, long time to get that though. That's uh, there, there's a, it's neat. But yep, we saw those in uh, in uh, Tampa at the Tampa RV show. Uh, and what else do we have? Hey, Jennifer. I got a question for you. Get in here. <laughs> Jennifer didn't want us to go on at yes. eight o'clock at no, night. She's probably late. right. Yeah. Yeah. It is our bedtime. Uh, this is from Tippy. And she says, I'm being sincere when I ask this. How is Jennifer doing? I am doing so much better. I went to a different cardiologist, my uh, son's cardiologist in Nashville, and he's put me on some medicine that has really helped me. And I'm very hopeful. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's been a long month, yeah. but this I is... actually got to walk the beach today. Yeah, and you were awesome. having trouble. I was having trouble breathing up until a couple, day, couple, couple, days, couple, couple days, ago. days ago. So, and so I am very excited and very thankful for this doctor. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be actually taking that class B. We're taking up to Nashville to uh, to, be to meet seen with by them. this doctor again. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, See, right. we, so, I'll probably be ringing you back with more. Because you sure you don't want to sit down? No, yeah. that's fine. I'm trying to get Rachel in here to say something. Yes, um, Rachel's well, my daughter. Well, well Rachel, Rachel, come in here. Come you on, know Rachel, these people. Just say hi. 
you know, it's just a family night. It's a camera. So Rachel, Rachel came to our gathering, one of the first gatherings we did in, uh, and uh, this is Rachel, Rachel hi. Boyer, our grand, Rachel, come over here, right here. Yeah, say hello to everybody. Bo's here. And Bo is here. Rachel is a uh, freshman at Michigan State University. Yep. And uh, she helps out at our gatherings from time to time, if we can get her back again. Uh, I know some of the people on here. I think James uh, uh, Massey. Massey knows mm -hmm. you from and asked about you. So there you go. Mickey Stackpole, we're buying our first RV. And I was wondering what's the most important piece of advice you'd give a first-time buyer that will be pulled by a truck. Jennifer? Oh, boy, first-time buyer being pulled by a truck. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Michael, you're the expert. What's the um, best advice? Make sure you, uh, they're going to be pulling so that it sounds like a travel trailer. Make yep. sure you have a good hitch. Make sure you have a good hitch and um, find a parking lot to go out and just drive around for a half hour, 40 minutes with it so you can pack, practice backing up a little bit. And, you know, just remember you have to make really wide turns and just take it all slow. Write down what you're supposed to do follow a system when you are hooking up or unhooking don't let anybody distract you uh, have your partner whoever you're traveling with that's the only person you're going to talk with um because people will come up to you in the campground and they'll they'll mess you up <laughs> they'll break your concentration so just do one thing at a time and take it slow you'll have no problems um greg mason says get it inspected yeah that's before you buy it obviously always have your vehicles inspected yeah um, that's good advice yep excellent advice uh james massey rachel he <laughs> says so good to see you all together you remember <laughs> james massey yeah yeah you took this picture yeah <laughs> so it is kind of fun to see that way yeah. charles ellington uh, i remember charles hi charles he says uh Hey, Mike, do you like the Coach House Arriva? You're the one who likes the Coach House Arriva. I do. I yeah, do, I do. Yeah, we don't have one of those to test. I suppose if we drove down, they would probably let us look at one, but we've looked at them before. Um, when we do an RV review now, we want to actually take it out camping, and we take it out with bull. So a lot of people, you know, oh, no, we oh, can't oh, take okay. a dog in it. Well, can I we can see bowling? that, but, you know, <laughs> we're testing it to see what it's like you know, and, and Bo camps with us and how it works. Uh, that's why I love Nick at Sunshine State. He says, I got detailers, not a problem. So yeah. it was good. That's Although good. I got, um, I noticed that in his unit, he's got an air tag so he can keep track of where I am. With it. <laughs> he doesn't trust me a whole lot. He knows where I am. Okay, let's see a couple more questions and we'll uh, we'll get out of here. But this is kind of fun doing an impromptu one like this. Have we showed people the address for the community? Uh, we will tell them about okay. that. Right. Uh, uh, wait, wait in the works means early stages, finances, what, then ordering, still figuring out the finances. Oh, the guy that's looking for the 60th anniversary. Hmm. Well, it's going to take you a couple of years to get it. So <laughs> that's uh, it takes a lot. It's a beautiful unit. It though. is a nice unit. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, this is how you get to our new community over here. There we go, right there. Uh, Community.rvlifestyle.com. Please do us a favor. If you have not joined it, join it. You can text Wendy. You can text Jennifer. You can text Phyllis. And we're out there. Phyllis, can I put you on for two seconds? Because Phyllis is here, and she's mad. This is her bedtime, too. <laughs> yes, it is. Phyllis. <laughs> you you kind of heard Wendy was going over some of their common questions. Anything that has struck you that people ask over and over again that we we probably need to just address once and send them off? Oh, well, if I had been prepared for this, I would have made a list too because there seem to be the same questions over and over. And then people get frustrated because they keep seeing the same questions over and over. Um, there are some functions in Facebook where we can pin things at the top but people don't look at those things. They just post a question. And so it's an unending battle between please use the search function and Facebook not providing the actual search results. So it's, it's challenging. It and, and I have to say the thing I like the best in the community is because you have those spaces. Uh, if I go on there, if all I care about are the e-bikes and the destinations, that's all I'm going to look at. 
And if I, I am one of the guys who really enjoys working out the plumbing and the electrical, <laughs> we have spaces for them, right? So they can go and they can talk tech all day long with their plumbing and electrical, and I don't have to necessarily see it. So I, I really like the way it's designed. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. I do too. Uh it's yeah. it's just fun and friendly. Look at Jennifer, you're perfectly framed behind it. I know, I think we got it here. Yeah. I'm, I'm sitting by my Rachel. Uh and I just really appreciate it. Phyllis, here's a compliment for you because you handle that from James Massey and uh and his wife Susan, she's here as well and says hello. He says, your daily summary of your latest offering is great. Phyllis does that. That's a daily newsletter, a little message we send out every day about our latest content and everything. Thank so, you. It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh, I see one more question, and then we are going to get out of here. This is from Tracy Reineke. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. And this is Tracy is one of our moderators. Yes. And she says, what app site do you use to find campgrounds? Oh, yeah, that's one. Yeah. That is a and kind of, along with how do I keep mice out of my RVs? There's a bunch of them that yeah. are all the time, every day. <laughs> um, and Tracy, yeah. the best answer to that is uh, RV Trip Wizard. Um, to me, that is the first step I use in finding campgrounds. And then the second app, uh, that's all part of the RV Pro package. You have to be a member of it. They're one of our partners, and you can uh, find that on the blog, rvlifestyle.com slash partners. RV Trip Planner, it's takes a while. It's a little learning curve to get into it, but that really helps us plan our route. And then we can see the campgrounds along the way. And then often I will then use the dirt, the D Y R T. And it's all one word, the dirt D Y R T.com as my favorite app to actually look at the campgrounds. I'm a member of dirt pro. And because I am that I can actually, if it's a campground is filled, I can say, scan it for me, and they will constantly check that. And as soon as there's a cancellation, they'll set on the dates that I'm looking for, they'll send me a note and I can book those. Um, and I think we can even give you, a, we can get you a free month's membership of that if you go to our partners page, uh, rvlifestyle.com slash partners. All those apps that we use are listed under there, the ones that we recommend and use. So, and there it's up on the screen. All right. I think we're going to go. <laughs> yeah, it's getting late. This was fun. Uh, and we'll try and do these more. We do live things on that new community all the time. We have a lot of fun on those. We do. And it's kind of like this. We just kind of get goofy. a lot of interaction. Jennifer has a question that she just posted that she needs some of your input on. And it's like this. It's all the it's the most common questions women seem to ask. Um, and they like to ask other women RVers. So if you have some please go to the community. You'll see, just search for Jennifer and Aunt, get put some of them. She's yeah. going to be working on a video should on that. should appreciate that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, gosh, everybody's asking. Uh, I, I missed it. Frank, where will you be for the eclipse? Not to be missed, an event of a lifetime. Um, we will probably be in Tennessee, I would think. And we're going to try and get on that edge of it someplace. Our property is not that far from the edge yeah, of it. Yeah, it's not that far. Yeah, and we will, we will be there. That's coming up in... Just a April little over 8th, a month. April yeah. 8th, yep. All right. Thanks, uh, Frank. Thanks to everybody. Thank you, Phyllis, for being there. We appreciate seeing you again. And we'll see you Sunday night on Ask Us Anything. Um, and then one more last pitch for the community. Why don't you do it? Just come on over. We It's such a friendly place. It's easy to find things. You're not going to be seeing the same question over and over and over again. And when you come on over, say hi and introduce yourself. Um, we'd love to have you join us. That's it. Jennifer. Happy trails. Happy trail. <laughs> hey, Rachel. A little too soon. <laughs> say, say happy trails or something. Happy trail. <laughs> <laughs> no, not trail. Trails. <laughs> oh. Okay. Good, good, good start. All right. We love you guys all. Have a great rest of the week and see you on the community. We'll look for your text. Text me tonight. If you join, I'll say hi. Bye. Bye-bye. Now I got to turn this off. Bye. <laughs>